Welcome to Make a Tiffany Style Lamp with Scott Whitney. I'm a self-taught hobbyist and I've made about a dozen Tiffany lamps over the years. This one is one that I made from a pattern in a magazine. It's currently in my living room. When I learned how to make lamps we didn't have the internet so there was a lot of trial and error. The purpose of this five-part video is to make life easier on you. We'll go through the entire process right from design through tools to cutting glass to assembly all the way to a final lamp. Here's the first lamp I ever made. It's what's known as the Tiffany Baroque design. Prior to this I'd only made a few sun catchers. Here's the Tiffany Dragonfly Cone considered by many to be the most iconic Tiffany design. Here's a 13 inch pansy. I didn't have the advantage of a video to teach me how. You do, so you have no excuses. Let's get to it. Alright, let's go over a few of the tools that you're going to be needing. First, you're going to need a work surface. Most people use acoustic ceiling tiles you can pick up at Home Depot, and I built my first few lamps that way. I've subsequently built my own light box and I'm using the Morton glass breaking system, but that is totally optional. You will also need a few hand tools, a glass cutter, I bought a Toyo, it's 20 years old, it works like the day it was new. You'll need some glass pliers, some 732nd foil, some 5050 solder, and a soldering iron. And finally, I highly recommend a glass grinder. We'll see this one in use a little later in the video. It is possible to do the final shaping of your glass pieces with old fashioned hand tools but a glass grinder makes the process drastically quicker and also much more accurate. Because lamps are three-dimensional, they cannot be built flat on the table the way you would build a window. So they've developed what is known as a form. You can see here, here's a form. There are three different ways you can acquire your form. You can buy the Warden form, the Odyssey form, or you can make your own. I like to save money anytime I can, so I made my own form. In this particular case, it's a 16 inch globe. I went to Home Depot, bought some 3 quarter inch styrofoam insulation sheeting, cut it up into circles. You can see the size of the circles there. You stack the circles all on top of each other and glue them together. After the glue is dried, use a dust mask and a sander and sand off all of the ridges and as soon as all of the ridges disappear you will end up with a nice 16 inch globe form. Before you build your lamp you have to first choose a pattern and a color. Color is very important. This is a Tiffany Wisteria. It's in blues and purples. If your home is in earth tones such as golds and rusts and amber colors this particular lamp might not be a good choice. Your next consideration is the number of pieces required to complete the lamp. Using the Wisteria as an example again, this lamp has well over a thousand pieces in it. You're better off for your first lamp choosing a pattern that has between three and four hundred pieces. The advantage of using the Warden or Odyssey systems is that the design on the form and all the pattern pieces are already created for you. The advantage of creating your own form is saving money, but then you in turn will be required to draw your own design or copy a design and in turn create the pattern pieces. Here's a commercially available pattern. This is the Tiffany Dragonfly and this is a pattern from Warden. You'll receive the pattern to be able to shape all your individual pieces so they're the right size and shape. You also get a pattern that goes on the mold so you get the pieces in the correct position and you also get instructions and the advantage of the instructions is that it tells you how much glass you need in each color and also suggests color by manufacturer. Here's that same dragonfly when I was building it and you can see I have created all of my individual pieces and test fit them on the mold before foiling or soldering. That is the normal procedure. But because I made my own form and drew my own pattern which only goes one third of the way around the form, I'm going to have to build my lamp in thirds. So I'll build it a third at a time, move it over, 
replicate it, move it over again, and hopefully have a completed lamp. So now that we have some of the basics underneath our belt, now the fun starts. We get to cut some glass.